there, fellow homo sapien. Are you looking for a cool place to hang out? Are you looking for a place to spend your time because you have no life just like the rest of us? Well, come on down to Hardy's Cafe, a new Discord designed just for an amazing viewer like yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description to join the server and enjoy the video. Hey there my fellow homo sapiens, my name is Hardy McSmarty and welcome back to your daily dose of drama video. Today was kind of supposed to be a video on Dolly Guts or Tirza, but um, <laughs> it's like we're talking about nasty gotcha life content. No, for real, you guys have been requesting this a tiny bit in my discord, which you should probably join by the way if you haven't, link in the description as always, buy my merch. Yandere Dev has never seen better quality merch in his entire life guys. So you know, go check that out. Shoutouts will be at the end of the video as always be sure to look for the barf emoji, comment the timestamp you guys see it in the comments below, and you may be one of three people I shout out. Without further ado, let's spill the tea. So, it's been requested to make a video on this game, Gotcha Life. I myself have used Gotcha Life, and it's a pretty well-known program to use when it comes to storytelling on YouTube these days. People use it for role plays and storytelling, as well as making their own original characters. Here's the description on a page where you can download the game. Not sponsored, by the way. Great Shadow Legends, please sponsor me. <laughs> if you love anime characters, and dream of one day creating your character, then you are in luck. Your dream of creating your anime character will come true, and you just need to download Gacha Life. It's a role-playing game published by Looney Me that allows you to create your anime-styled character. You also have a variety of different clothes and fashionable outfits for your character to wear. You can choose to use one of the preset characters that the game already has, so you don't have to think too much into your character's appearance, but if you're feeling creative, you can create your character's appearance from scratch using the different available styles of eyes, hair, clothes, and so on. Hundreds of dresses, shirts, eyes, hairstyles, and weapons are available for you to use. You can even customize what kind of pose your character will use. Lots of the main story concepts with Gacha are romance and drama. People also tend to make music videos to popular songs with it, also involving romance and drama like in the, you know. However, there's also a side of the Gacha community that is quite nasty. The game itself is rated everyone 10 and up, meaning that anyone over the age of 10 can play it safely. This does not mean that sexual content should or needs to be present despite adults playing it. What's worse is that plenty of adult content is rated 13 plus and not 18 plus. The only thing I can suggest that makes sense why it's 13 plus is because of COPPA or because the creator themselves is 13. Either way, even if it's due to COPPA, the age warning shouldn't be under 18 if sexual matters are taking place. We might as well get started there. All right, homo sapiens, here we go. Might as well start off strong here with this one, folks. You can go on YouTube and find adult gacha content, well, no shock there, but people have uploaded content similar to sex tapes. In these types of videos, characters can be seen on top of each other as well as performing sexual acts, being chained up, and forcing themselves on characters. In one video in particular, yes, I, I had to watch this, a female named Charlie is late to school and has to use the bathroom. She accidentally goes into the boys' washroom, and when she attempts to leave, the door is locked. The boys pressure her into taking off her shirt, then let her leave. After school, there was a jump skip, just so you guys know, the girl's requested to go to this dorm place by her teacher and passes out or something once she is there. Because the dorm is full of the same boys plus an extra few, she wakes up and falls off of the bed onto the guy who harassed her into removing her shirt, and then they have, um, yada yada, and that was it. Along with this, there's many videos on pregnancy and sadly enough, child pregnancy. I am honestly disgusted. It concerns me if people who make these videos know how children are even conceived. <laughs> like, I have nothing wrong with teen pregnancy. Stuff happens, you know, but like a five-year-old, that's just pedophilia. And if you think about it, in these spicy gachas, the characters are in high school or maybe underage, which is promoting sex with minors. If sexual content is going to be made in a gacha, it should not be on the YouTube platform. It should not be exposed to minors. It should be uploaded to Pornhub or other adult sites that allow sexual content for reasons I won't get into, but regardless, it shouldn't be accessible to children. Anyway, let's move on from that and take a bit of a break from 
There's lots of abuse depicted in gacha content. Sure, it makes the story interesting, but it's not exactly a positive thing to have in your story. There's videos out there about abusive parents, significant others, siblings, bullies, that the character might end up falling in love with anyway. Or of course, sexual assault. With this, the concept of depression may be common throughout certain types of gacha content. Now, I don't mind guns and such per se, like an action gacha film, but a gun a student brought to school or large amounts of murder with a dramatic approach is not something I agree with. Okay, can we talk about videos where parents and siblings are overly abusive to the main character? Like, I get that happens, but not everyone's parents favorite one of the multiple children or treat them like they're royalty. That, and not all siblings tell each other to harm themselves or that they're worthless or something stupid like that. I think another thing that happens under this category that ticks me off is when the main character grows a liking to something or someone who was abusing them. There's lots of stories about characters who fall in love with their bullies or bad boys or whatever, but it's just stupid, honestly. Now this topic might be a little bit touchy as well as the next, so trigger warning. <laughs> When it comes to storytelling, adding damaged or depressing characters can give a story character and give the characters a better backstory. So it seems. Depressing concepts and characters is quite common, but it is also present in lots of gacha content. Whether it be self-harm, smoking, drug abuse, suicide, or etc. It seems often like depression in these videos is glorified or normalized. Normalizing mental illness, anxiety, suicide, or self-harm in gachas is wrong in my opinion, especially when it can be seen by kids. Children seeing depressing concepts may confuse them or give them the idea that, hey, Alyssa just hung herself because her school bully. I'm bullied, maybe I should try that. It glorifies and normalizes mental illness and is not needed in stories built around minors. Sure, lots of people do put age warnings and such, but it doesn't really need to be present in the plot to make a good story. And it's, it's just not good. <laughs> Now, I'm not against the LGBTQ plus community in any way, all right? Get that out of the way. I'm in support of people, and I believe that people should be able to love who they want to. Anyway, plenty of gacha videos contain main characters in LGBT relationships, or mainly canon to be LGBTQ plus. There's lots of cliche tropes, like a very masculine character and a very sensitive character, or two soft characters in a relationship together. Just some shit straight out of a 13 year old's head that there's minors out there who try to bring up the ideas of that and there's minorities out there who try to bring up the idea of pedos and zoophiles in gachas. Which if you haven't seen my video on maps, which you should go check that out really quick, you can tell my opinion on that. But having LGBTQ cliches doesn't help the community. It literally brands it as such. It could make it seem like all gay couples are masculine like soft or soft like soft or the other way around you know or that all lesbian couples are tomboy x girly girl and that just doesn't how it works there isn't a brand for lgbtq couples besides the fact that they share the same sexual preferences why must we have stupid cliche lgbt couples when you can just have two normal people who are into each other i don't get it now if none of this could get any worse let's just let siblings get involved siblings and sexual contact is taken as incest Yes, minorities of the gacha community like making incest series, some of which are LGBT as well. Incest in most states is illegal. You can be put in jail for 14 years if charged, according to the Canadian Criminal Code. Sorry, my American kiddos, I am Canadian, I have to use what I know. Sibling relationships has been a big thing in the gacha community recently. I, and along with many other creators, agree that the gacha community shouldn't be normalizing incest. Especially when the content is catered to children. I don't get why people want to make out and have sexual intercourse with their siblings. It's honestly beyond me. There's also series out there like My Brother is My Senpai. Like, what, what, what the hell? <laughs> hey, while we're on it, be sure to check out my video on Yandere Dev. It's a good one, please. I need ad revenue. JK, only watch it if you wanna. Unless... But anyway, imagine killing people who try to flirt with your siblings. Like, ex excuse, excuse me? Somebody needs therapy, alright? The fact that people find incest attractive alone grosses me out. Like, what is wrong with you? But people will be attracted to what they are, and I can't really, sadly, do much about that. <laughs> but with that said, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I honestly hope all of you guys are having a wonderful day, and you're living your best lives this month. But be sure to comment down below your guys' views on 
on this video, give me some feedback, and feel free to express your concerns or opinions on the gadget community. Just please remember to remain respectful to others in the comments. As always, I'd love to hear what you guys' opinions are on this. Be sure to join my Discord, which can be found in the description, and check out my community tab for updates and to vote on future video topics. If you're up for it, feel free to leave and like this video and subscribe for more quality content. And you know, go get that merch in my description. Link in the- go get it, please! Now, let's do some short outs real quick to end off this video. Thank you, Tika514, clown like you. I switched the Irish wristwatch for the Swiss wristwatch. I don't think I got that right. <sighs> Babe, no, please stop. Next comment. Thank you. The Black Void of Fluff said at 513. And could you please say good luck on asking out your crush, Oliver? I'm sure he'll do great. Good luck, my dude. Be confident in yourself. I'm sure you'll do amazing. Believe in yourself. And I'm sure you'll get that bread. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one. Sarah Mohammed said, I love your art style and the clown is at 514 and can you do an anime girl impression? So art in my previous video was actually done by my girl Sweaty. Go follow her Twitch. She's super amazing. Amazing. I also paid to have my character sprites drawn so I didn't do that. But like, uh, the art is in the video. <laughs> but I did do the art in this video. So <laughs> thanks. Any anime girl? Oh my god. Um, Crunchyroll. Take me home to my wife who was in my ethel toast. She's got pies and thighs and boobs with eyes and she only cost me six ninety five. Something something something. I don't remember the rest. Crunchy roll, take me home. <laughs> okay. So like I don't have any final charts today, but if you have submitted them in the past, I really appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. It's insane. Like the fact that you guys would take your time to draw me makes my heart go omega ooh woo. Okay. I appreciate you all so much. I'm sorry uploads have been slacking as of late. I'm trying to do my best to get more stuff out for you guys as soon as I can. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I love you guys so much, so much. And we hit 12k. Bro, that's crazy. Like my god. I love you. Thank you. I'm rambling. All right. Thank you guys so much. Talk hard, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Must you tell me, don't pet me, and make me use and don't forget to stop me. See me wag my little baby tail for your boji woji. Kisses and lickies your neck. Hey, ho, daddy, like he nuzzles and wuzzles your chest. Yo, I be getting yeah. thirsty. Hey, I got a little itch. You think you can help me? Only seven inches long. Ooh, ooh. Please don't